I'm presenting here um, my my Maxim SP book. It's a, a book that we released uh, last year, and it's in Spanish, unfortunately. But we are going to translate it in English, I hope. And uh, I'm presenting uh, my brand new uh, Maxim SP book, but for iPad, and this will be in English. And it has interactive videos and sound and, uh, uh, you know, all the advantages that the uh, iPad has. So I think that this, this will be very good for, for, for teachers and students. And I'm talking about uh, my center to the people, the Mexican Center for Music and Sonic Arts. So that's, that's it. This project is basically three projects, and uh, what I do and what I'm obsessed with is actually bringing augmented reality into Max, both as a rapid prototyping tool, um, but actually as a very serious and interesting project. So Snapdragon AR, which is actually a commercial software which we sell, which is actually built with Max MSP, and to this day it has kind of the distinction of being the fastest is what it does, which is basically to drag and drop uh, videos and JPEGs into and onto augmented reality scenes. I'm also very interested in just getting the uh, tools into the hands of artists and designers. And so um, my, my spare time for the last four years since my undergrad was to try to get, try to get an AR toolkit uh, into um, Max MSP and to work with the jitter objects and jitter models. And now, um, so I, I built JIT, uh, ARTK Multi, which basically just is a really simple form marker tracking. And that's the demonstration that you see here with uh, different black and white markers, and you can superimpose a model on top of them. Instantly, in real time, scale them, transform them, manipulate them however you kind of want. So it, it actually incorporates all of what you can do in Max in a really like fun and interesting way. examples of how I would soon be using uh, Max MSP. So here's more of a product design. Uh, this is a project here called Facebook Live, uh, trying to bring Facebook in a physical way. Uh, here is Twitter clock. Uh, all of that is kind of a design subject and then we try to use actually Max MSP to prototype. Prototyping is very, very important for us. It's not a finished product, it's a prototype. I have my students doing that, I have different years, it's uh, I my Max patches, which is probably one of the things that's missing with Max. It's uh, uh, some sort of a theme-based uh, approach to Max, rather than an object-based. So what we have here is uh, video, sound obviously, but very, very small amount of sound, drawing, text, global. We have here sensors, metrics, grab, effects, computer vision, CD objects, you can start. By looking at Max patches as uh, application, ready to use applications, that it could do things immediately, try to, like it was a Photoshop or any other application, and then get to hacking those, uh, those patches in order to do their own stuff. This is an uh, application for kids to learn how to use video to make a musical video compilation. And it's entirely built in Max. Uh, a bunch of video samples here. And you can drag into some timelines. You can then use to create a composition. And we have all these different elements. For example, the rhythm element we can use to manipulate both the sound and the video into uh, a creative composition with uh, based on arbitrary samples. So you start out with with very plain samples like a dog from YouTube. And then you go ahead and, and mix it with different samples to create a, a rhythmical or a bass. This kind of in this situation a bass uh, composition. And then you have a lot of different effects that you can use to make it even more. You know, this is like a one effect. Now we have a different effect. And yeah, it basically has so much opportunities to be really creative that we find that kids are really happy playing with this. This is some stuff I've been doing with the Microsoft Connect. Um, I'm uh, 
I'm deeply into stereoscopic 3D, which I've done for most of my life. And um, with the Kinect, which actually is not a stereoscopic device, it's just a, it's got a depth camera and a normal video camera. And by taking the depth map generated by the Kinect, I can bring the world into a virtual 3D space and mess with it. So that's what I'm doing. I'm messing with it in all kinds of ways. Put those glasses on. Yeah, yeah, yeah.